Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your Love Connection reading for June. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. This is intended for a connection you believe you have with somebody. You don't necessarily have to be together. Whatever your situation is, you do have to at least know them in some way, shape, or form and believe you have a connection with this person. If you are single, though, I do have a singles reading that I do and I offer on my channel, especially if you are new. You can find the link below to your Love in General playlist. You'll find it under the Love playlist, and you can check out the singles readings also if you would like to. Those are more intended for singles who are wondering when they're going to meet their next person, uh, when will they find new love. But it may resonate, so you can also watch those if you would like to. So this is intended for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, male or female. It's a general collective reading, not a private reading, so please only take it as it resonates for you. Only take the, res uh, the parts that do resonate for you. If it's not resonating at all, it's not your message, please don't try to make it fit. You can hold out for future readings, or like I said, check past readings. They may resonate, or check other signs in your chart. Link below to get your free birth chart if you're not sure of your chart, so that you can watch other readings for your chart. It may resonate more for you at this time. So let's see what we have for you, Sagittarius. And this could be past, present, or future. Please keep that in mind. You can switch and change the energies around um, as much as you need to. That's how tarot works, so please do that also if you feel the need to do that. So everything you need to know, Sagittarius, is down below in the description box. Uh, decks I'm using, how to reach out for personal reading, um, tons of stuff down there. So please go check it out. And if you're new, check out my channel, like what you see. You know, subscribe, hit the bell, you won't miss out. And you get about four or five readings a month, and they're all different. So feel free to check that out. And if you do subscribe, thank you, and welcome to the family. So Sagittarius, hope everybody's doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time as best we can. Alrighty, so let's see what we have for Sagittarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, male or female, general collective. This is a Zodiac Oracle, so I always pull one of these first. And we could get a sign, element, or planet, however that uh, plays into your reading. If we do get a sign, you don't resonate with the sign that comes out, totally fine. Um, rest of the uh, reading, it probably is for you, especially if you clicked on the link. Um, with this deck here, this is a new deck for me. This is the Magdalene, Mary Magdalene deck. So I'll pull an opening energy for you and your connection. Then I'll pull one for you, one for them. Connective energy. And then, you know, we'll see how what you're feeling about each other in the connection and the mutual energy. And then with this tag here with the tarot, that's the tattoo tarot, um, we clarify the energy, look at the situation, advice, possible outcome, bottom of the deck clarification, and then angel answers. We'll get more um, messages at the end. So let's see what is going on with you and said. Uh, whoever you're thinking about at this time for this reading, the Sagittarius. So can we have a sign, element, or planet? Whatever wants to come out for Sagittarius. Whoop. Here's a card. Must have fell in my lap. Let's see what we have. Well, we have Saturn. This is Capricorn energy. So you could be dealing with a Capricorn in some way, some way shape, or form, but you don't have to be. So Saturn... Um, is the energy of ambition, goals, security, lessons, challenges. And that is, it's funny because Sagittarius are 9, Saturn is 19. So it's kind of a pattern there, but 19, that would be 10, 1, 9, 10. Tens around endings, completion, cycles. And then that would equal a 1, which would be a new beginning. So we'll see how that plays out. And Capricorn does represent the devil in the tarot, which can be addictions, obsessions, a very strong uh, connection with somebody. It can also be about fear, doubt, depression, low self-esteem kind of energy also. So we'll see how that, or a very strong, like, lustful connection with somebody also that's almost, like, toxic. So we'll see how that plays into your reading. All right. So it does say lessons and challenges, so it could be, you know, a connection that had a lot of challenges. Um, that you've had to learn a lot of uh, lessons through, especially if it's something coming to a completion there. So we'll see how this plays out. So whoever you are thinking about for this reading, for Sagittarius Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, male or female, let's get an opening energy for your love connection, whoever you're thinking about at this time, for Sagittarius Spirit, please, whoever they're thinking about, can we get an opening energy on this love connection for Sagittarius, please. Thank you so much. Opening love energy for Sagittarius. 
and we have Sophia. So I might have to look this one up. I think this is about forgiveness and healing. So um, let me see. I hate to try have to get the book out, but this is a new deck, and I did go through all the cards, but I just want to make sure. Um, do do. I'm reading this right. Someone dear to you needs your love and support at the moment, perhaps even your forgiveness. So it's about, you know, putting aside disagreements, resentments, um, any of that energy for love, support, and forgiveness. Resentment, I mean, whatever uh, you may have with another person. It's about healing, learning, forgiving, um, love, support, that kind of energy. So let's see what's going on here. So I hope there isn't a glare on the uh, cards here because I can't really see. can't see the screen <laughs> the way my camera's set up because I have it on the left of me and I'm right-handed. So, okay, let's see. It's a new camera. I have a new camera, a real camera, instead of using my phone. So sound hopefully is a lot better than before. All right, for Sagittarius, let's see. Let's get one for you, one for your person, mutual energy, and then we'll get into the tarot. So can we have one for Sagittarius? How are they feeling about their person, whoever they have in mind for this reading? All right, I'm feeling that one. This one for your person. And we'll do the bottom of the deck for the mutual energy see what we have for you Sagittarius we have saint and sinner hmm okay so <laughs> let's see what your person has Crucif crucifixion so crucifixion so they may be you know replaying everything in the relationship in their mind in their head you know the wrongs the rights really analyzing every little thing and like self-sabotaging themselves, self-blaming, uh, resentment, regrets, that kind of energy. So saint and sinner, I mean, it could be this energy where when it was good, it was good. When it was bad, it was bad. Um, saint, I know, maybe somebody did something here, you know, sinner energy being like, you know, that good and evil, good and bad. I don't want to say evil, but good and bad kind of energy. When it was good, it was good. When it was bad, it was bad. Maybe somebody sinned here. I don't know. So let's get mutual energy between the two of you. Little children. So it doesn't necessarily mean little children. It could be adult children. But this is also about the inner child within you. You know, that kind of energy of being innocent, playful, uh, wonderment. You know, seeing everything from like a child's eye. We all have that little inner child in us. Or this also could represent um, maybe there's children involved in some way, shape, or form. <clears throat> so I feel like, so, you know, this is how you feel about them. So if they did something that, you know, maybe you've been very faithful to them, and maybe they did something that was like a sin or some way, shape, or form against this relationship, now they're really crucifying themselves for what they've done. And couldn't involve, maybe they had a child somewhere else. But there's forgiveness, there's learning, there's healing. Um, maybe even compromise kind of energy coming with that Sophia card. And that could be that devil energy with the um, Saturn, represent Capricorn, which is the devil. Which could be that toxic energy. If there was a third party involved here, I don't know. But um, we're going to get into the tarot now and see what's going on. For you, Sagittarius, with this connection. You could have known them since you were little children also. You know, this could be, you know, someone you've known for a very, very long time. But this card is supposed to represent the little child in every one of us. See, you know, having that childlike innocence, wonderment, um, all that energy. We all have that energy still within us somewhere. But let's see, let's see what's going on here for you, Sagittarius, and this connection, whoever you're thinking about at this time for this reading. Let's get two for you, two for them to clar uh, further clarify, and then two for the mutual energy for Sagittarius, please. Can we get two? Wow. Okay. 
Let's get one more for Sagittarius. Two for their person. One. All right, I'm thinking this one. And then two for the mutual energy. Two for the mutual energy. All right, let's see what you have, Sagittarius. So we have, oh, there's the devil coming up. And we have the three of swords in reverse. So the <clears throat> Capricorn, so the devil does talk about, you know, that toxic energy I was speaking of, but then the Three of Swords is about pain, heartache and pain, deep heartache and pain, and it can speak of third party, but it's in reverse, so that means, you know, if this happened, you know, a long time ago, or it's been, you know, two or three years, and now you're at the point where, okay, you know, I'm, I've healed from the pain, because the Three of Swords in reverse is about healing from that pain, you know, the swords have dropped out of the heart, You've kind of healed, you know, you don't forget, but you've kind of healed from that toxic energy here. So that's a good energy. So, you know, definitely it's the saint and sinner energy. I mean, you could have been faithful to this person and they did something um, third party here was a sin. Or this could be your energy. But somebody here definitely had a third party that sin hurt this relationship. But I feel like, you know, we've over, uh, you or them overcome the pain, the hurt this caused ready to live, learn, um, heal, forgive. I think they're really beating themselves up over this also. I feel like they're the ones that may have had a third party because they're coming up with crucifixion. So I think they're really beating themselves, feeling regret, remorse, uh, really you know, blaming themselves. Why did I do this? Why did I do this? Really beating themselves up for it. So let's see what they have here. So we have the Nine of Swords and we have the Eight of Pentacles, which, you know, the Eight of Pentacles could be them working on themselves. Nine of Swords being, you know, that stress, fear, worry, anxiety. So really stressed out about what they've done. So I think they're really trying to work hard here to either redeem themselves or working on themselves here or wanting to repair the connection here in some way, shape, or form, which would fall under that forgiveness. All right, so let's see what the mutual energy is. So we have the Eight of Wands and the Ace of Cups. So the Eight of Wands talks about communication, travel, action. And the mutual energy here is the Ace of Cups. So either having a brand new start in this relationship, starting with communication, bringing the passion and the love back in. Or, you know, this just could be bringing peace between the two of you, whether or not you're coming back together. But the Ace of Cups can talk about peace, harmony, um, compassion, you know, forgiveness, you know, that all that kind of energy. As you see the two doves here, you know, coming in with the um, offerings of peace. So two people coming into like maybe a peaceful resolution in some way, shape or form, starting with communication. So some of you, I feel like maybe um, forgiving, learning, working on this, you know, starting over, starting fresh, or just, you know, having peace and harmony in this uh, connection. So let's see what's going on. Are we moving forward together? Are we moving forward uh, separately? What's going on here? Sagittarius. We do have the sun here energy. So, so far we have Capricorn. So far. <laughs> Capricorn. That's all that's coming out. But now we have Leo here with uh, the sun energy, which is the most happiest card in the deck. It's happy home and family, healing, massive healing, enlightenment, Growth, expansion, uh, happy home and family, success, victory, most positive card in the deck. So it's coming out on your side. So I feel like you're, you're, you know, you're doing good. You've had this massive healing over whatever they've done here. Um, you're ready to be happy. All right, so you're going to be happy with this person or without. So now we have the star. Wow. So this is, again, massive healing. Enlightenment. Faith, hope, optimism, wishes, dreams coming true, divinely guided energy. So, let's see. Let's see here. What else? It's Aquarius energy for Sagittarius. So, two cards of major, major healing. So, whatever happened here, you've done a lot of work here. Deep, deep healing work. And you're ready to be happy once again. So now we have the Page of Pentacles. So this could be um, solid communication, a solid offer of some kind coming in, going out. So, I mean, this could be an offer, you know, to this person. You know, can we solidify this again? We start over. 
extending that olive branch out. Knight of Cups. So we're making forward movement and love in some way, shape, or form. And that could be Scorpio energy, but doesn't have to be. If I say the sign of whoever you are dealing with, um, that's good. If not, totally fine. Doesn't mean the message is not for you. Okay, all right, so let's... Okay, I'm feeling this one. Nine of Wands. Yeah, so they, they, and I had said that. This person beating themselves up over this, this whole thing. This wounded warrior. It's all beat up. That's exactly what I said. So they really, really beat themselves up here over what they've done. King of Wands. It's a Sagittarius energy. So you're in their energy here. That's Sagittarius. It's this fiery passionate energy going after what they want. So they definitely want you. And this is moving forward in love. Really beating themselves up over this. And I feel like you've done some massive, massive healing and ready to extend out an olive branch to uh, stability again in some way, shape, or form. Or offer at least communication. Or moving forward very slowly in some way, shape, or form, to stabilize this connection once more. All right, so let's get some. So I do see, well, we do have justice here for advice. So, I mean, justice can speak of just clarity, bringing balance, doing what's moral, just, and right, uh, getting justice, serving justice, legal matters, um, Sometimes I can speak of divorce. Sometimes I can speak of just clarity and balance. Um, paperwork. We do have the Three of Cups here in reverse. So that's usually about reuniting. So this is Libra. Three of Cups is usually about reuniting, coming back together. Another three. I mean, that can represent third party. But um, the Three of Swords more for me does. But now we have another three. So, I mean, the Three of... Cups in reverse usually is about like not reuniting, not coming back together. So let's see. This is advice. So let's see what else. Why is that? Whoops. On the floor. So let me get that. So we have judgment in reverse. So I feel like, you know, upright is usually about bringing the soulmates back together. It's usually about um, needing to make a decision. It can be about forgiveness and soulmates coming back together. So I'm, I'm feeling like here, I mean, the advice is honestly um, to make a final decision whether or not you want to come back to this person and reunite with them. Or if you want it to be over for good, ultimately you need to make that final decision with judgment in reverse. All right, one more, one more. The hanged man in reverse. Oh, my deck is upside down. Okay, but I'm going to take it in reverse because I didn't know my deck was upside down, but that's okay. So this is um, Pisces. So, hangman in reverse is about taking a break, being still, you know, not taking action while we think, reflect, gain enlightenment, see, you know, every perspective, you know, look at the broader scope and picture. But now we're taking action because we're in reverse after we've gained that enlightenment and done, you know, the thinking and taking a little pause. So I feel like here, again, judgment, I feel like in reverse, a final judgment has been made. This is your advice or guidance, so take it as you will. But I'm getting this. This could be divorce because I don't see reuniting coming back together. I feel like a judgment has been made of not coming back together with this soulmate. So now we're taking action. So and that Ace of Cups, I mean, could just be, um, you know, with the Knight of Cups and the Page of Pentacles, just having some, you know, solid, calm communication coming from a compassionate place, maybe apologies um, moving forward, again, reaching that calmful resolution, that peaceful resolution here. So we do have the Four of Swords energy here. So this is, again, thinking, contemplating, healing, rejuvenating, resting, uh, retreating. So again, and then so is it sort of like the hangman is like the major of the uh, Four of Swords. So I feel like here, you know, you've taken time, you thought, you contemplated, retreated, whatever, here. 
you've looked at every perspective, you've gained, you know, knowledge, enlightenment about the whole situation, really coming to terms. Like, these two together would be, to me, like, the hermit. So I feel like you really know what, you, what you're doing now. So Spirit says, now that you know that what you want, whether you, you know, you're seeking divorce or separation or wanting to work it out with this person, like no more third parties or just ending it. I mean, ultimately, it's up to you. I do kind of see ending here, especially with judgment in reverse. Usually upright to me, that's about a judgment, you know, major forgiveness, uh, you know, the soulmates coming back together, resurrection, three of cups reuniting, come back together, but it's in reverse, so it's like not coming back together with this person. So for some of you, um, I guess, you know, follow your intuition. If you feel like, um, you know, you'd be better off on your own, then, I mean, you do what's best for you, but I kind of see here maybe some, this could be separation, divorce, or some, some you know, something like that. I'm not telling, okay, we'll get a divorce, but, you know, do what's best for you. All right, so let's get, um, especially if this involves children, so needing to really have that, like, that calm, peaceful, stable uh, connection between the two of you so that, you know, if there's little children, even adult children, you know, it's not going to do anybody any good to be in a state of, like, um, like war and peace all the time. <laughs> All right, so let's see possible outcome here. So we have the Queen of Wands energy here. So that's that fire energy. So that could be Aries. So that can represent Leo Sag Aries. So that definitely could be your energy. All right, what else for the possible outcome here? Ace of Wands. This is a fiery, passionate new beginning. So for some of you that may be, you know, going off on your own here and deciding... That, I mean, you do have something new coming in here, especially with the Ace of Cups up here. So if you're releasing something here, you know, that's come to a completion, you know, 1 in 9, 10 completion, but you're ending it, you know, the right way, you know, peaceful, calm, you know, harmonious the best way you can. I do see, like, new love and a new passionate connection. It could be with another fire sign um, for some of you. Or you could be reconnecting with this person. I mean, I do see that maybe for some of you too. So however this resonates for you. I am reading for the general collective. So for some, you could be moving on to another fire sign. Or you're moving uh, ahead again with this person. All right. So what else for the final outcome? Perhaps. So the fool, this is a brand new beginning. So some of you, again, I feel restarting, resetting your life back to zero after all of this. With the zero, everything coming full circle, completions. Now ready to start a new chapter in life and taking a leap of faith. To, yeah, to a soulmate, to a cups here. So you may be taking a new leap of faith towards, after this ending, towards another person you feel like is your soulmate. Could be another fire sign. So we have, this is Aries, or it could be another fire sign, and then we have Aquarius. But I feel like if this is somebody new, this is definitely your soulmate here with the Two of Cups energy. It also could be the energy of you and your other person here. Again, you know, just shaking hands, peaceful resolutions, you know, peace, harmony, uh, compromise uh, kind of energy, compassionate kind of energy, healing and forgiving. Some of you also, it's a new soulmate. So let's get five from the bottom of the deck for further clarity. Okay, so we have the Knight of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands. So we got two action cards here. So this is, you know, moving forward, you know, drive, passion, ambition with the Wands. That could be Leo energy. And then we have the Knight of Pentacles, which could be Taurus, doesn't have to be. But we're moving forward, you know, smart, practical, wise, taking our time, being cautious and, you know, planning, preparing. And the Knight of Wands, though, still having a lot of fire, passion, and um, ambition, driv driven energy moving forward. So we do have the Hierophant here, which speaks of marriage, commitment, higher levels of commitment, higher learning, uh, doing what's moral, just, and right, faith, spirituality, religion. It can also speak of things in the legal, law field, uh, you know, authority, energy, um, kind of energy also, education. So we do have the page of swords here, which can talk about, you know, spying on somebody online or gaining research, gaining knowledge 
online, but it's also communication, open, honest, truthful communication. And then we do have the Five of Pentacles here, which is about being, you know, lonely, left out in the cold, abandonment. So I feel like here, you know, we're moving forward, moving forward from maybe either a commitment, maybe towards a new commitment or somebody new, being open and honest, cutting away things no longer serving. And somebody will be left out in the cold here, or you could be in that energy of, you know, now you're starting to feel, you know, this has been ongoing. Now you're starting to feel, you know, you've been alone for a while. Now you could be, you know, starting to feel a little bit lonely. It also could talk of monetary lack in some way, shape, or form, or lacking somewhere else in your life. Energy here. I'm just curious of what else is on the bottom here. So we do have the Three of Pentacles, which is about teamwork, collaboration. Also three again, so three, three. So definitely could have been a third party somewhere here um, in this situation. But the Three of Pentacles can be about teamwork, collaboration, working together, working it out. Especially we do see three, which could be a family. So again, you know, working it out in some way, shape, or form. But we do have the Page of Cups here, which can talk of apologies, you know, loving, compassionate communication of, somewhat, of uh, some kind. And then we do have the Page of Wands, which is fiery, passionate communication. So, and I just saw the Queen of Swords on the top of the deck, which to me is my Divine Clarity card. Divine intervention, you know, with divine clarity from source. Um, this can be Libra again. So we did have Libra with the Justice card. But this is total mental clarity, truth, honesty, open, honest communication. Uh, maybe someone who's been through a lot and now, you know, stands up for themselves. They don't back down. They don't take any BS. But again, my divine clarity from source. So, I mean, we do have love communication and passionate communication, our apologies here. Working together, teamwork, collaboration, compromise in some way, shape, or form with the past person or with a new person. Could also be sending, you know, pa um, loving, passionate communication to somebody new. But divine clarity is here for somebody. Wow. So those are the energies I see on the bottom of the deck. Some of you, I feel like, are leaving one situation moving towards somebody else you feel perhaps could be your soulmate. Some of you may be uh, healing this and moving forward with the same person. But let's see. I feel heavily though some of you are um, just healing the situ past situation, you know, having that peace and harmony as best you can, and then moving forward. All right, so Sagittarius. Let's see. Let's get some angel answers for you, Sagittarius, to close this out. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, male or female. Can we get some closing energies from the angel answers? Sagittarius, please. Helpful people. So again, that could be, you know, Libra, justice system, you know, people around you, friends, family, uh, well, I don't want to say co-workers, but friends, family, those near and dear, getting, you know, advice from wise counsel and that kind of energy. Also reaching out, you know, to your guides, your angels, your spirit team, you know, thought, prayer, meditation, whatever it is that you do. Asking for, you know, signs, that kind of energy. All right, so what else for Sagittarius? Wow. Recovery. So, yeah, I feel like some of you, you know, are recovered from this. You've done that massive healing. Or some of you may recover this um, connection. That's what I feel. Abundance. So whatever you're doing here, if you're moving on or moving back to this person, there will be growth, abundance, prosperity for the future in some way, shape, or form. Or some of you going solo, you know. Different energies here. So whatever your situation is, whatever you're feeling guided to do, um, just trust that. No need to worry. So there's no need to worry at all for your future, future connections, future life. What else? See if there's anything else here. And you're ready. So some of you are ready for something new in your life, I feel. From the bottom, we have forgiveness. Exactly. And I had spoke of that. So some of you will be forgiving and moving on. Some of you will be moving on with this person, without this person. I feel for the majority of you, I think you're moving on to something new. But you're healing and forgiving and having peace with the past before you move on to the new. 
because I did see at the bottom of the deck, yes. And if you feel like this new person, if you were connecting with a new person um, that you're thinking about taking the leap of faith with and you're wondering, is this person my... I feel like you have a lot of passion towards this person. Again, they could be a fire sign, fellow fire sign. You believe could be a soulmate, but the bottom of the card deck here is saying yes, Sagittarius, and if you believe. So again, trust. And some of you will be taking a new direction, choose a new direction. So that's what I see. Wow. Okay, Sagittarius, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.